This is a demo and test of Zoom's auto transcribe feature. I'm going to download a transcription from Zoom and place it in media site, YouTube and Facebook, maybe Camtasia. And I've already done a Zoom recording and I spoke as I typed this and we'll see how well this syncs up as we move the transcription to various platforms. Here's my audio transcript. I'm going to tap download and it's going to download a .vtt file. But in order to put that in MediaSite or Camtasia, it needs to be SRT. So let's Google convert VTT to SRT and let's use subtitletools.com. I'm just going to upload the VTT file and then tap convert to SRT. And it made the SRT file. I'm going to download that. I'm also going to download the shared screen because note that even though Zoom will auto transcribe, it won't put them together for you. You have to download the video and the transcription separately. So I've converted the transcript and I'm also going to download the shared screen. Let's back up a little bit. As soon as my recording and audio transcript was ready, I went to the Zoom screen and I downloaded it. But what I should have done was view it to see if I wanted to make any edits before downloading it. I'm going to go ahead and click on share screen and play the video and then I'm going to look at the auto transcribe. I notice the pencil here. That means I could edit it at any point. And notice the white dot here. That's probably about the time that I start talking. And we saw an error right here. There was a kind of a skip in the audio and it didn't get the words and place it in. So I'm going to tap the pen here. And I'll type and place it. And it did get the word in. So notice the text was updated. Now that I've edited it, I could go back and then download the audio again with the new changes. But I'm just going to go with what I have. And I've already gone to media site and uploaded the Zoom video. Next, I'll tap edit. And on the tabs beneath the video, I'll tap delivery. Check audio transcriptions. Manually upload an audio caption file, select the file, and I selected the SRT file, and I'll tap save. So let's tap watch and see if this works. We would tap CC. I will download the transcription from Zoom. And we see the CC working here. So we saw that uploading those two files separately, the video and the audio transcript, and it does sync up properly. Let's test Facebook. I've already uploaded the video. Click on the date time stamp to get to a video viewer. Underneath the video on the right hand side, click the ellipses. Click edit video. Scroll down to captions where it says upload SRT files. Click choose file and upload the SRT file. Now it had a problem for some reason. We'll try it again. Okay, it didn't like the file name. It needs to be file name dot en dash us dot SRT. So I'm going to go and change my file name so it matches correctly. Okay, so I shortened the name zoom dot en underscore us dot SRT. And before I said dash, but it's actually an underscore. So let's try it one more time. So we'll let the video play and we'll see if the closed captioning appears. It is a demo and test. And we can see it's of working. Using Zoom's auto transcribe feature. I've uploaded the video to YouTube. Let's see if we can add the transcriptions. Beneath the YouTube video, I'll click edit video, subtitles slash CC, add new subtitles or CC, English, upload a file. And it already made an auto transcribe because YouTube has the same feature as Zoom. So I'm going to overwrite the auto transcript. I'm going to choose subtitles file. Transcript wouldn't have the timings in it. And YouTube would add the timings for me. But the subtitles file I have has timings. So I'm going to get the file and tap upload and I can see it along my timeline here. I can make changes here or over here and it looks good. So I'll go ahead and hit save changes. So I've got to go to my video manager 
and let's play it as if someone else were watching it. They would tap CC. It is a demo and test of using Zoom's auto transcribe feature. And we can see that it works.